everybody welcome to my channel my name is Mari and I am a language arts teacher I'm glad you are here so in this video I'm going to share my favorite online tools to use in the classroom with my students so a lot of the tools that I'm going to talk about and mention in this video they've been around for a really really long time um, but I have to say I used a lot of them a lot of the time um, within the past year with uh, teaching virtually. I will say that many of these online tools for me in my classroom are here to stay. And in this video, I'm gonna share those with you and I'm going to briefly tell you why. Now, if you want a more in-depth tutorial or tour of these online platforms, then just leave a comment below. And also, if you are using another online tool that I do not mention in this video, share it with us and leave the name of it below, okay? All right, so the very first one that I have to mention is Padlet, my beloved Padlet. There are so many reasons why I enjoy using Padlet within my classroom. Um, I love giving students the opportunity to have discussions and also um, observe their peers' thoughts and writing and work and things of that nature. So. There are three um, major ways I use Padlet. Um, the first one is for a uh, discussion wall. Basically, you can create a Padlet wall and it's nothing but uh, the students' comments and it's basically a big discussion. You can have them answer a question, say, what is the theme of uh, all summer in a day? And all the students can participate and basically post their ideas and their answers to that question. Another way I use Padlet is to show a timeline of events. Um, I think it's super duper cool. And the third way I use Tablet, um, basically I can, Tablet, the third way I can use Padlet is by organizing the Padlet wall into columns. And these columns can be based on um, class periods. It can be based on the days of the week. It can be, be based on certain questions that you're asking your students. It just depends, it's all up to you. So yeah, I completely recommend Padlet. Um, it's super easy to use. You can attach hyperlinks to other articles. You can upload pictures. Say if a student created an anchor chart, they can take a picture of it and upload it. Also, they can, um, as a teacher, you can provide sources on the same screen as a Padlet so students won't have to go back and forth. I just think it's super cool and I think all teachers should at least try to implement it once or twice in their class. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna fall in love with it. So the second online platform that I really enjoy using is Flipgrid. So Flipgrid is basically an online platform where teachers or moderators can pose a question or a topic and students can basically respond in a video. And I, I think it's super cool. Um, teachers have the autonomy to make sure that the videos that are submitted can be either one minute it can be 30 seconds, one minute and 30 seconds. It's up to the teacher or who created the Flipgrid. Um, I also like the fact that Flipgrid is easily shared or can be easily shared on Google Classroom. All the teacher has to do is create a link and um, attach it directly to the Google Classroom app through Flipgrid or just copy and paste it and put it in Google Classroom or um, whatever other type of online classroom platform you may have. Um, also, the students enjoy it because they can add filters and cool stickers and it's just super cool. Um, I love Flipgrid. Um, as an English teacher, after my students read a passage, um, instead of always writing something, they can record themselves um, analyzing or their analysis of the passage or whatever the assignment may be. Like I said, it's super cool. I think you should try it out. The third online tool, that's six fingers, the third online tool that I enjoy implementing in the classroom is Kahoot. Um, Kahoot is super cool, super simple. Um, we use it a lot on Zoom. There's a, there, there is a way to basically, you know, uh, display the question and then the students will grab another device and they can easily answer questions. The kids love it. Um, basically, it's just a cool way to engage students. It's like a competition, a game. And there is a new feature that allows teachers to assign cahoots independent of the teacher. So basically the students will have to complete a cahoot um, on their own, which I think was a great feature to add. Way to go, cahoot. 
The fourth, I believe it's, I'm on number four, the fourth online tool is Google Docs. Everybody knows what Google Docs is. Everybody should be familiar with Google Docs. It's been around for a really long time. But as an English teacher, uh, I fell in love with Google Docs because um, whenever I give my students written assignments, like essays, basically I'm able to give them feedback in real time. I can see exactly what they're writing in real time and I can offer them feedback and I can use the suggestion tool that basically allows me to uh, write markups on their paper, basically showing them what they need to change, what they need to add. I just think it's super duper helpful for um, English teachers to help students improve their own writing. So I love Google Docs. Last but not least, the last online platform tool that I do want to mention is, what was the last one? What was the last one? Padlet, Kahoot. Canva. I am super late getting on board with Canva. You can create anything with Canva. I really love the fact that there are so many designs and fonts and just I love it. I use Canva to create my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. I've used Canva in the past to create um, basically PDFs of units. And the great thing is that you, you can design everything any way you want. And there's a way to add hyperlinks to your materials. It's pretty great. Um, I definitely plan to use Canva um, to create worksheets, uh, to create uh, my syllabus perhaps. Yeah, Canva is amazing. I do plan to record a video of me giving a tour and very short, simple tutorial of Canva for teachers. Well, that is all I have for now. Um, I really hope you guys decide to try out these online tools, explore them, engage with them. The best way that I learned how to use them was just by trial and error and just exploring the tools. All right, please like, subscribe, and comment and engage in my channel and be on the lookout for more teacher-friendly um, videos. All right, bye.